Chapel Fell. Okay. That's the locals being used now. It goes up, down, and then long pull. You may or may not remember this one. I know. I'm you sure would. it'll hurt my legs just the same. You will have done this one. I think this is probably the main, the main event you came for. Um, but now you people are road biking there. Yeah, he's been out and about, and he said uh, he went out to bloody Elston on his first ride. <laughs> that was adventurous. <laughs> Are you okay then? I hope it's a light bike. <laughs> um, and then his second ride, he said, well, what I wanted to do was go out and kind of come back. It, it sounded like it was going to come back by the gibbet. And I, and that's quite a big ride. And I was speaking to him the other day. He said, oh, yeah. I went out and uh, I went the wrong way at Rothley Crossroad. Yeah. And thought, oh, I'll go up to Rothbury. Like, are you having a laugh? He really is driven. It's brilliant. With his foot down, not yep. thinking. Steep bits equals hard work. Yep. That was great. He made it, and then made it up, made it to Billsmore as well. Wow. Even better. Impressive. So. And what does he normally do? Tell you sure to be honest. He used to run when he was sort of a few years ago. Okay. I've got to say, 71 mile on one of your first road bike trips. I was uh, colour me impressed. Yes, thoroughly. Although I have to say, he'd not be enjoying this ride. the idea of uh, headwind up here and headwind up Yad Moss. takes it below that point for me. When the sun comes out it's lovely. Yes. For this one I think, I remember rightly, on the uh, Simon Warren scale was a 9 out of 10. Really? It's, uh, it's either an 8 or a 9. Highest paved road. You made me do seven before. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and? <laughs> it's supposed to be a slightly social bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very sociable. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't exactly been clean in it, have we? 
I don't think I could have done all the climbing and paint it. <laughs> to be fair, this is probably about the right pace for this type of ride anyway. Or well, not much more. Yeah, this is about the right for me. Uh, it was um, well, it was slower on the last one. It's just about getting the bottom to the top yep. and then putting your foot down. And back home. <laughs> well, yes. I think you manage that bit. As long as there's some tea left in the flask, you'll be fine. Yeah, not much tea left, actually. Need <laughs> <laughs> a bigger flask. Are you dt Not fully, but... this bit and here's me thinking you'd be big ringing it straight up <laughs> I'm not sure the mic will have picked that up Start. That's just a warm up. Good news is it takes pretty much the shortest route. Bad news is I mean to go straight up the side. Well, it does say the steep bit at the top. Down 
those two little steeper bits at the bottom and you think, oh, this isn't so bad. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It does. And I'm always impressed with the way that it saves the steep bits for the top. Definitely got the wind, yep. which is good. appreciation for effort levels as I do now. I think basically I'd burn too many matches getting here. ramp, a little bit of respite, the ramp, the bend, and it's not too bad across from the bend, and then that last pull up to the top. Oh, bees. Oh, don't stay there, lamb. Come on, little lamb. Oh, he's got a little back legs. Oh, bless him. Oh, dear. Yeah, or just falling down here. Crack in the grass or something. Yeah. Doesn't move well that one. No. Nope. Mr. Uh, Mr. Fox might see that. Not the exact one. Have they gone completely? Have they? No. It's going to take it steady and I'm going. Well, this is the last really steep hill. Because you had mosses. Steady enough. Long. Yeah. And then there's the back side of this to do, but it's it's not bad. Depending on how much battery I've got left, I might record it as the back of Chapel Fell. As the uh, climb the Kareen Everested.
saw the news about Phil Gaiman. No, he uh, broke the end. Good, really. Under eight hours. gradient wise yeah for her anyway it was sort of seven eight percent something like that any steeper and it costs a lot of energy to get up yeah any shallower and you've got a lot of miles to do many miles yeah and you've got to balance the two Tempoing it most of the way. But you need to do a ride within yourself if you're going to do Everest anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a zone two ride. Yeah. Which I guess is why you don't want the ramps. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to steady away. Although, I don't know if you remember when we were in the Dolomites and we stayed on the we were on the Paso Val on the Valparola. Yeah, Valparola, yeah. Um, so Ollie Bridgewood, who's now with GCN, uh, he Everest did that. Right. And that's, it's a, it's a good climb, but there's the steep bit at the top and there's the flat bit in the middle. And in general, I Like the poor doy which would have been perfect it's already been done because you if you're the first person to everest a particular hill or climb you get your name on the everesting website so you can everest any hill that you like at any time I wonder if anyone's done a hard knock no i checked I think you'd have to go over it about 25 times. Be a long day. Yep. But it might even be more than that. Like, it's something like a thousand feet to go, and you need to do 28,800 feet of ascent.
lower than this. I did feel the zone for that. So close.
Job done.